Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger Stero. <laughs> I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the weekend read for the sign of Capricorn. I hope everyone is doing well on your weekend and starting off great, okay? We are under the moon influence of Aries. Aries is the moon of war, okay? So we just moved into this moon today at 4 p.m. Mountain Time, United States. Um, You got to check your local listings. But it moved into uh, Aries around 4 o'clock today. We, we just left out of Pisces. So, um, yeah, it's all about war and um, emotions. People are in touch with their emotions and they're expressing them. So I expect there's going to be a lot of violence this weekend. The full moon doesn't actually come into fruition until 9 p.m. on Sunday. Mountain time, United States. Check your listings. So when that full moon hits, it's, it's, it's going to... People are already feeling it, though. Because the effects of the full moon is three out three um days before and three days after. So be careful, be nice, and um try not to you know lose your temper or anything, people. All right, Capricorn. That was just a little tidbit of information. Um, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest, and you already know what to do. Uh -huh. Reverse the roles as needed, as love may show up. Okay, your overall energy is the judgment, Scorpio energy. You may be. At a crossroads or putting an ending to something. Can we get um some energies? What's going on with the Capricorn Collective this weekend of October? Ooh. This weekend of October 7, 2022, or whenever they are guided to watch this video. Those that have subscribed to our channel, those who like our videos and share our videos. What's going on with the Capricorn Collective? Thank you. We got the Seven of Swords, the Hangman in Reverse. The Two of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. What is really going on? Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we got your energy. It's all about you, Capricorn. Seven of Swords. Why is this here? Is this about an increase, abundance, or is it about some lying, cheating, something to something? Okay. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords and the Nine of Swords. There's going to be a lot of communication going on here. <laughs> There's going to be communication going on here. Somebody's walking away and, and they're going after their new beginning, but not until after they have this clear communication, which is going to leave you um, a little depressed. OK, yeah, like I told the other signs, you know, go out and take a walk, you know, because you're not getting no sleep. You got to exercise, huh? And a simple walk around your neighborhood and check out who live in your neighborhood. Okay. That's a good reason enough right there to just walk around the block. <laughs> but yeah, these uh somebody's uh gonna be lying during this conversation and you're gonna walk away and it's gonna cause you uh some internal turmoil right there with that nine of swords, some stress. Yeah, because you want this new um passion and beginning, yeah. The hangman in reverse, okay? Why is this here? For the Capricorn Collective? Why is the hangman in reverse? Okay. Uh, come on. The hangman in reverse talks about being, um, we got the hierophant clarifying that. I don't know why they card act like one. The hierophant clarifying that. And the hierophant is the Taurus energy and it talks about uh, marriage and partnerships. So what, what I'm seeing is that you, you're not connected with God. You need, to, you need to talk with God more. You need to work on your relationship with the Most High. Okay? That's what this is telling me. All right? Don't let it take you under whatever you're going through right there. Okay? Two of Pentacles. Why is this here? The Scorpio energy? <coughs> Excuse me. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Thank you. You're spending time alone and you're trying to figure out if you if you want if you want love or you're trying to figure out what it is that that makes you happy. What is it that you desire? That's what I get from that. Yeah, you're going to spend some time alone this weekend and figure some things out. That's what I see. 
Yeah, but you got options, it looks like. Three of Cups. Why is this here for the Capricorn Collective? Why is the Three of Cups here for the Capricorns? Two threes. Yeah. There's going to be some partnerships, and it's going to, you're going to be doing some mingling and networking. That's what I see here. Absolutely wonderful. And you're going to be admired for the work that you've done at your job. You're going to get some recognition. Yes, yes, absolutely wonderful. That's on the business front. So it's saying that you're, 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 you're trying to, you're at a crossroads right now. You're really, you don't know if you want love because you just walked away from this situation here. And it's causing you depression and stuff. You're being told to work on your relationship with the most high. Yeah. You, you got a lot going on here. Why is that judgment there? Let me know. Let's know, let us know. Let us know what that judgment is there for. Is that just because they're going through transition right now? Two of pentacles. Two of wands in reverse. Trouble and fear. And yep, that's exactly what it is. You're 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 in transition right now. So you're going through some things. But work is going well. That's great. You're going through some emotional things. You just got to speak with the most high. Operate in your higher self, okay? Two queens. What does that mean at the bottom of the deck? Let me take a quick peek. Yeah, you got some sincere friends. So, you know, go speak with someone. Capricorn, two queens at the bottom of the deck and at the cut. Okay, so that's letting you know you have some sincere friends about you. Go and speak with them about your issues. You don't have to deal with this alone. Okay, you don't have to deal with this alone. Okay, God, universe, most high, whatever y'all address them as, and you got your friends. Okay, anything else for the Capricorn Collective before we close this out? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, King of Wands. Do whatever it is you want to do. Don't worry about what nobody else thinking. That's facts. And you're going to be successful. Okay? Be clear. Have clear communication. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Have clear communication. Okay? Yeah, somebody needs to speak up. Any advice from the African Goddess Rising Deck for the Capricorn Collector? Thank you. Divine lineage. You're, you're fine. You need to speak with your ancestors. You're fine, Capricorn. You need to speak with your ancestors. Go into prayer. Meditation. You need to go into meditation. Get outside and get some sun. Okay, Capricorn? Um, truth. Speak your truth. That's what I was saying. You need to speak up. Because that crazy cough that just came out, that was ridiculous. That just came out of nowhere. Um... Yeah, you, you need to speak up. Enrage. Yeah, it's okay to feel your, your rage because that's one of our emotions. It's part of our makeup. Just don't hurt nobody, Capricorn. Okay? And do some breathing and meditation, okay? Take a nice brisk walk, okay? So you can get some of that anger out of your system. You know stress kills. All right? Capricorn, your breathing doesn't look that bad to me. Business is going to go well. You're thinking about and contemplating on what it is you want. You need to connect with God. And this situation here, just go ahead and walk away. Go to your new beginning. Okay? Maybe it's a change of job. That's what I'm seeing. It's something like that looks like it might be a change of job. And you're really just working on yourself here. It's real personal. All right. Thank you so much. Um, I, I am having construction done on my house starting this week for about two weeks. Okay? Yeah, so I'm going to try to get as many readings as I can out, okay? You guys, uh, thanks for being patient with me during this process. And um, you know what I always say. Good luck with this Capricorn and make it a great weekend on purpose. I'll see you guys soon. Take care.